Okay, everybody, we're going to do some gameplay. I have a hankering to play a little bit of Kingdom Come today. Uh, I am using the mods that I just posted about, so um, and after going through all my files and trying to figure out what has been, what was stopping it from uh, giving me the best frame rates that I experienced before, I just couldn't figure it until I decided to sit down and really take a quick, quick look at it. And uh, I think I got the frame rates up to where I want them. I mean, personally, I would like to have them stay at, you know, 60. At least 60. But, uh, well, this particular developer doesn't care to do anything for their game, so. Uh, where's my horsey? Come on. There he comes. Is that him or just firelight? Oh, no, there, there, there he is. Um, okay, we're going to go back and try to find this lacrosse guy or whatever his name is. Where is he? Back this way. So I have to really... That's a quest giver there. So as soon as I enter this area, I'm going to have to start questioning, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a... Since this is the starting point of this, we're going to... Kind of weird, I wasn't able to... Okay, we're going to put a marker there. Like, I really enjoy the cut, like... Like, this is all beautiful stuff, right? I just simply enjoy it. As you can see, I'm hurting here. I'm actually using weapons and everything else and wearing gear that I'm not capable of really wearing. So I end up... Alright, so where am I heading here? Uh, let's head down this road. Now, what I enjoy about the game, most of all, and this is most of all, that I can take my time, just stroll down, and just have a, you know, take a day of it. Go to journal. Okay, to make sure I'm on the right one here. Okay, track down Riki. B is optional. Which one am I? Optional. Bring the hair meat to the innkeeper. Right, I forgot. Now you got to be careful. Um, you shouldn't be poaching. main side quest. Let me see here. Aquarius. Those are all the ones I've done. Oh, excuse me. Just burped. Didn't mean to. Just comes out. Yeah, avenge my parents. Yeah, no. Uh, what I do like about the game, I mean, I can go about just not following anything. And just go about my own business and steal or do whatever I want to do, right? Now, there is a mod um, that allows you to bypass the, the first thing that, it, that the game forces you to do, where you have to go through all these cinematics and, you know, saying, yes, dad, no dad, I'm going to go do that, dad, and, and all of that. Uh, let's make sure I'm on the right road here. I'm right here. Holy castoli. I'm going to have to drive through town. And hook down through. Oh, wow. Well. Am I even on the right track? Now, I decided to... If you haven't watched my past videos of me playing the game, I decided to kill the old witchy poo off. Ooh, bad frame rate hit there. Holy castoli. Not good at all. Get the frame rates. There we go. We're starting to jump up now. I don't know why that happens. I think it's this way. Let's just boogie through here. If I'm able to. If I can figure out which way I'm heading. Frame rates, let's keep an eyeball on my frame rates. Okay, 
think that's yeah, that's definitely not the gate I want to come out of. Oh no, that's going into a courtyard. Yeah, just go on back, Mike, here a little bit. Hold on. Go through here. Yeah, that's the pub. No, I'm okay. Alright. Kind of weird the way that was looking. Now, as you can see, my frame rate's on top left there. Yucky. They're yucky, yucky. Whoa. There's people still awake right now. Yeah. Oh, is that food? Yes, it is. Thank you. I know I'm still on the piggy side there. You see the little icon there beside my health bars and all that. Well, I keep myself fed. Playing in window mode is not helping me all that much. As far as frame rates are concerned. Yeah, as a combat system, I really have to level up. I mean, there's. I can't, um. Okay, what we're gonna be doing. Which is a better way for me to cross. This is the only way to cross, so I'm gonna have to go down through. Go across the covered bridge. Yeah. Now I'm a lazy gamer. So what I oh yeah, I, I still haven't fixed that. Dang it, I should have fixed that. That should not be happening. I've never had that happen before. Never, I don't know why that's causing the water to do that, but that's got to be a distance drawing or something, to be honest with you. That's what I'm kind of thinking, right? Yeah. There's a wee bit setting there that's making me... Yeah, in combat, I'm so crap in combat. Yeah, it's only, it only does that with water. I don't understand why. But that really takes takes me out of the mood, really, actually, to be honest. Out of my way. I'll run you over. You're lucky I don't pig stick you. See, I did pick up the free copy from Epic. Like, the, the game I'm running right now is I purchased on Steam. It was really a dirt price, or a real cheap price. And, um, real cheap price, and I, had all, I got all the DLCs with it. The dev is, I, I think the dev is actually charging for them doing, uh, their personal documentary on how they made the game. <laughs> Six bucks, I think it is, Canadian. I mean, that's kind of nervy, but that's cheeky. See, the <laughs> charge for a documentary that... Wow. I don't know of any other developer that does that, but... <laughs> okay. Hey, you know, it's your business. I won't buy it. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. I'm certainly not buying it for me so I can watch how you made an unoptimized game. I know it's a lot more than that, though. I mean, it, they had to go through the... What do you say, folks? We'll go around. 
pig poke a, a, a lamb? Uh, yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, that draw distance there. That water texture thing he's got, uh, I gotta figure that out. Yeah, stay. Uh, yeah, no, go. Wish I could pig poke you guys. I'm wondering if I can. Uh, I forgot how to. That's in my main hand. How do I cycle? No. All right. Drop, move to horse, equip. E, Michael, come on. I forgot how to pull it out of my out of the sheath. Come on. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Sun's coming up shortly. I want to do this before anybody comes out. Um, because I'll tell you, they don't forget your face if you're caught. There'll be a bounty put on my head. How do I do that? I can't remember how to do this. Alright, I'm going to have to do it without this. Oh, come on. There we go. Let me pig poke you. Come here. No, run. I'm horrible. I'm horrible at sword play. Oh, my stamina is bad. I have to learn. You reach a new level in warfare. You reach a new level in vitality. Hey, you know, if that's what it takes. What has he got here? That's 31. I might get over. Oh, it's... Uh, Ooh, 31. No, I just want one. I don't want... It's kind of funny that I can't pick up the hide. Yeah, I got to do this before anybody comes around. Look, I'm sorry, but I need it. Yeah, that's not cool. That's not cool, Mike. That is not cool. Don't leave them alone now. That, that's bothering me now. Bloody hell. Don't go around killing innocents, dummy. Oh, that, now that's got me feeling bad now. Because <laughs> that's not the way I am. That's not the way I play my games. I don't go around killing innocents. I play these games the same way I am in real life. I just don't mess around. I don't... You know, unless I'm playing Witcher 3 or something like that, then it's totally different. But where this game uh, is real, like, you know, I mean, it's based in, re in real, or uh, historically. Historical, it's, um, you know, it allows me to play myself if I was back in this time. But then again, I mean, how would I have been, how would I be back then? You know, I'd definitely be a different person than I am today. I mean, there's no toys about it. I probably wouldn't have an issue going around slaughtering lambs and stuff like that because you need food, right? Now, where am I? I've got to go back to the crossroads and hang a left. Oh, hold on. Hold on here. I can still... No, I want to get to the beginning there because I'm missing something. I haven't found them yet, so I'm going to have to turn around. Now, what I have found interesting in this game... Every once in a while, there's something. I'll come across a body or something that looks like a, it's a plant. Someone's planted it. Like someone's messing with me. And if I interact with it, bad things can end up happening to me. <laughs> I've learned not to go near bodies, man. That are just happen to be on the road. And is this the road where I need to be at? I believe it is. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Getting back to what I mentioned earlier, how I'm a lazy gamer. See, the, the, to steer your horse, you got to use, you got to hold down W, 
and use A and D. Or if you just hold down shift, the horse will run and stick to the road path. But if it comes to a fork, it'll choose one, but it may not choose it won't choose the other, the one that you're really wanting to use. Okay. Sometimes I don't want to gallop. Sometimes I just want to take it easy. Stroll along. And you can see the water does not look good at all. So I'm going to have to... There is a setting in one of the mods that supposedly optimizes the water. And I think that's what could be causing the issue. Alright, I want to investigate this area. I want to speak to whoever's in here. What, what time is it? Oh boy, these people sleep late though. They really do. These, ple these people have, I mean, they, they, you know, I always thought these people woke up early in the morning, like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning to get things started. In this game, sometimes they don't wake up until 9 o'clock in the morning. It's like, come on now. Hey, dog. Oh, I woke him up in there. You hear him? I just want to talk to these people. I don't want to... I... Yeah, I'll... Yeah, I've spoken to you before. Maybe just... I have noticed that there are... Good day to you. What do you need? Only a certain number of people. Uh, do you know him? So you know this Hinnock. Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. All right, hold on. I, ha I have to get reacquainted as to what information I do have. <coughs> Let's go back to my journal here. Numbers in Nifk. Felt it was by name Ricky from the city of. It's all about to find out as far. I suppose it shouldn't be too hard to. Well, catch the scent of this Ricky. So I. Okay, so there's tanners around. In the end, it turned out Ricky not only had money hidden. That's right, I did find them. Naturally, he would. He told me about a place where he hid the money, and I found it. I'd like to hear what his father has to say about it. Track down another member of North Gang, a fellow in Ricky. Right. Okay, now I'm beginning to understand. I have to, before I get that information about Riki, I think I have to do the hair meat, so I have to go out and hunt. Alright, thanks. Yeah, you look like the guy who lives up that way, by the way. And, uh, you your wife there looks like you somebody who lives up that way as well. They, they seem to reuse uh, quite a few people. Actually. Yeah, I've got to go get some hair. Come on, boy. Let's go. I wish I could change the name of my horse, but... Yeah, I've got to do something with that. Alright, so, the first thing... Ooh, food. Yes, definitely need food. Now, this is where I usually end up getting into trouble. Where, the last time I went out in the woods to hunt some hare, uh, I ended up getting, well, molested. <laughs> it's like, every time I die, I just want to go hunt. Get the meat for that innkeeper so he gives me information about Riki. Or something like that. Um, I get hounded by these bloody bandits. Alright, well, let's just look for a good, nice wooded area and then hang out there and see what I can come across. Now I have a mod, um, there's a number of mods actually, I, I don't like, I have maybe six mods, seven mods installed. And there was one thing that really irked me about the game was I couldn't walk through bushes. And I was like, you know, why is a bush hanging me up like that? So there is a mod that you can use, um, that I'm using, that allows me to walk right through those bushes. Now I have to be careful here because... If I'm caught pouching, I can get into an awful lot of trouble. 
Now you can see my frame rates are pretty much steady between 42 and 43. Now, what I have noticed is I can go around and kill anybody I want in this game. Like, I slaughtered that executioner. Um, and hit his body. Nobody misses him. That's what kind of makes me wonder about the game, you know? No one misses the, ex the executioner. <laughs> uh, no one's looking into his murder. You know, and I am the murderer. As you can see, I can run through bushes. There is one place where I can pouch. Um, it's actually in an earlier. Uh, where is it? What's this here? New DLC quest. Yeah, that's one of the DLCs I have. Um, where are you? In, in the glade. I know it's not too far from here, I don't think. From Rate. Hmm. Or is it it's not far from Talenburg. It's a little glen. Are you telling me I cannot find it? I'm not allowed to find it? Well, we haven't opened up part of the map. Might as well go, right? Let's go. Yeah, that's weird. I can't find that spot. It was a nice hunting spot. This is the third time I'm going to try to explain why I'm a lazy gamer. <laughs> I was just thinking. Anyway, I, I don't enjoy having to move my horse with A and D and all that. So, because other games that I have, like in Skyrim or in The Witcher 3 or whatever, you know, just move my mouse will move my horse for me. And, uh, you know, I can under actually understand why they did it this way. It's because if you use your bow, you can fire off a shot that way. Or, you know, but I'm lazy. I don't want to have to do that. Um, finally, after all this time, I finally got to... What is this? What the hell? save. This is what I like about this game. Yeah, I did. A long distance arrow. Aha! Uh -huh. So we've got a marksman here. Right through the old nose hole, too. Right through the nostril. 
Holy moly. Looks like a, a notice here, but I can't do anything about them. Yeah. From the direction that away. Right up the nose hole. I'd like to know how he did that, but I don't know, but we're heading in this direction. See? I started off wanting to Hair pebbles. Now that arrow came directly from that this direction here. Right up a nose hole. That's pretty darn good shooting, I'd say. Unless they killed him another way and decided to shove an arrow up his nose. I don't know what sort of a mess is that sending, but it's certainly not the way I'd do it. Yeah, you'll definitely get, I'll, I'll definitely get a warning. Okay, that's obviously, uh, yep. I'm gonna be into it. Because that obviously is telling whoever these guys are. I knew it. Just old sight. Please, Dev, optimize this game so I can play it. Like, this game is really quite cool. It just really is. It feeds my imagination. It feeds my imagination in a way that Witcher 3 doesn't and Skyrim doesn't. Maybe it's because it is historically, I don't know how accurate it is with bandit caps or something like that. But. Ooh, major frame rate hit there. Yeah, I'm not finding anything here. Let's go up this way. Maybe they've moved? Pretty shady of them to be slaughtering somebody. My frame rates are low right now. Lower than what they should be, at least for the woods anyway. If I come across any uh, rabbits, I'll uh, kill them here. seen any rabbits at all. Look at my frame rate shot up when I put my sword back. Oh my land. Seriously. sword back out. My frame rates went right down. <laughs> Why? 
Yeah, I know I'm trying to use equipment that I'm not qualified to use. I know. I know that. Obviously, these guys have moved out of the area, so... At least I think they have. Um, not seeing hide nor hair. how to do this. I discovered a grave. See, right now, if this was Witcher 3, I'd probably have a ghost around here. So. Something I'd have to be very, very careful about. Ah. How could I have missed him? Oh my god, I'm horrible. Uh, he's taking off now. Oh, come on. Serious? I'm really wasting my arrows here over a dumbass rabbit. Come on. Hi, yo, yo. Like you have to be better than this. Seriously, you can't be wasting this, these things. Now, where'd the little guy go? There he is. <sighs> yeah, I know. I gotta bring him the hair meat. I know. I know. Thing is, I want to get rid of. that that's at a hundred percent so I have to be kind of on the go here drop that <coughs> let's go up here I would say one more rabbit should do the trick Please let me get it with the war first. You little shit dog. Did I get him? I got him. Oh my land. Oh my goodness sakes. All right. Do I have enough? No. Nope. Oh, one more hair. 
Should do it. Damn it, sakes, man. Bring the meat to the innkeeper. 60 of 60. Right, I need... Yeah, I think there's two. I think there's two. Okay, 60, 60. I've got that, so I'm going to have to go down there right quick. But there's another one, a beggar's feast. 60, okay. Ah, that's the one that requires 70. Yeah, try getting in there with pouch food. Where I have to go for this is here. I have to go through and hope I don't get checked. If I get checked, I'm in deep doo-doo. And I mean serious doo-doo. No two ways about it. No two ways. Oh, hello, hair. Yeah, no, it's too much. Come on, horsey. Good little area for hair. All right. Put that. Put that away. All right, so let's, there's the inn, so we'll head down that way. Yeah, it's, I'll just stroll quite slow here. Hope I'd see my arrows, but I kind of doubt it. I should have stopped off and picked up the arrows. Instead of just messing around chasing after the dumb hours hair. I'm not saying arrows are hard to come by, but you know. I'm not getting that nail from... So it's, it's gotta be a mesh at night. Like, the textures at night are, are flickering, so... See, I may not be able to get past here. I can't go any further. The current could sweep me to my death. Oh, come on. Horses can... Place right there, we can cross it. Yeah. Let's go. Oop. Not what I wanted to do. Ah. All right, can we get around here? Huh? Hop over, hop over. Come on, it's only a rock. Come on, come on. You like that wooden apple? That would not happen. I don't think I've ever come across in a game is uh, a horse. If you if you push your horse too hard through certain lands, um, types of land that uh, you can actually hurt. Like you know, no gopher holes, right? So if I was running like this, all of a sudden he stepped into a gopher hole, it would snap his leg. You know, so and there's 
not one game I know of that actually um, you know treat you know if you break the leg of your horse you gotta kill your horse simple as that and I think the reason why maybe they don't do that in games is because they don't want to There are animal activists out there that would freak. I'm sure of it. I am sure of it. Yeah, I'm quite sure they're, you know, the animal activists would freak right out on it. They don't pro they, you know, it's so funny, they don't have a problem with human beings being slaughtered, but when it comes to a, a, a horse or a dog or a cat or, um, then it's an absolute no-no. Yeah. Or a mouse or anything like that. You know. Yeah, let's get this food to him. Oh. <laughs> Didn't time it. My next video today, I'm going to probably play a little bit of Witcher 3. Um, I'll show you what mods I'm, uh, I'm using in that game. So, you'll have an understanding of what I'm capable of doing with this little beast of a machine I have. It's really quite something. There he is. Innkeeper. Here. My respect for you. Uh, my respects to you too, buddy. Uh, I have the game. I've got that game for you. Splendid. Some of the customers have been asking after us. Good. Good. Mm. That looks pretty good. So. What do you want to know about Inek? Uh, I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so he had to have a light for that. Hmm. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes they jet me as something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. Mm -hmm. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft in the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, everybody, this is where this video ends. Uh, I do like this game. I just wish they'd optimize it. Seriously. Take care, and thanks for watching.